aerial view of a moose eating my cabbage. I'm up on the second floor out of a window. And it looks like one of his um, one of his horns broke off. We put cages around the fruit trees just because we know that this can be a high moose traffic area. And I was really debating putting cabbage there or not, but I figured I would risk it. I made it so long. And it's September right now. Oh, what the heck, I'm getting ransacked in the backyard, too. Those are peas. Oh my gosh. Looks like he's thinking about jumping. Hmm. <laughs> He's not interested in the kale. Oh, those are Brussels sprouts. So she's eating peas and he's eating Brussels sprouts. And I was using those, um, those metal um, wire horizontal things. Those are cable cages. And I was using those to let the peas and the beans grow up. Over on the far right of those cable cages, those are string beans on the top. And then the far right of the garden bed, um, that's squash. So we'll see what they're, what they're actually going to leave me to eat. Yep. All right, she's bored. Out of here. Yeah, I see you. I bet the chickens are going nuts right now. Not the cherry tree. No. That's an Evans Bolly cherry that is two years old. 
And as you can see by the height compared to the moose, it actually had some nice growth on it this year. Come on. Their little snouts are really efficient at just stripping, stripping uh, branches. Right, on to ransack the next garden, it looks like. What an interesting morning.